Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's 4.05 on April 21st, 2014. We're going to take a quick look at the S&P, see what's going on. <clears throat> and before we do, I need to remind you that the website and this video are for educational purposes only and nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. Well, the first thing is, <clears throat> I feel pretty good about the, uh, the about the uh, call that eventually we would reach 1872. You know, it was hard to say whether we would go straight there or whether we would come up a bit then come back down but as we as we finished up on Friday we were so close it just made sense that we give a go for 1872 today and we closed at 1872 so whoever watches my videos that's in charge of the S&P thank you for making me look halfway good at least with that now Here's what's interesting. If we take a little bit closer look at the past three days, if we keep this line and this line where they were originally drawn, now I have extended both of these, but this was where this line was drawn on Friday. You can see that we dipped underneath it by two, two and a half points early in the morning then we back tested it and then we just kind of melted sideways now here's where we've got a little bit more information coming into today remind I'll just remind you we did not have hold on just a second for obvious reasons none of this was on the chart all we had was this right here so this is what we saw today we saw a little dip down here, a recovery, then a little tiny dip here, and then a close at, at really the high of the day. So what does that mean? Well, it could mean that we need to make an adjustment in our lower trend line. Now, it probably doesn't matter one way or another. But if we move this line right here, now that we have these two little dips, now we have an almost parallel channel. But here's why it doesn't matter that much. Because this little channel is so narrow that whether or not it's this line that just broke by a little bit today or this line that hasn't broken yet if we did break today and we want to give the market a little benefit of the doubt moving this line here really doesn't change things but by a fraction of a percent so with that in mind I'm going to keep this right here so we're going to now go to a parallel channel model for what has taken place over the past three days. I still think there's a very good chance that this line breaks. And since this line now is parallel to this one, that should be, that should count for more than what we saw today with the breaking of this line in the early morning. So let's put this here, see if we get strength tomorrow to take out, <clears throat> excuse me, 1872. And if we do, will we have enough strength to get on up to 1884? This is really pretty basic. If you watched the weekend video, then this really just is, is a little additional information without anything else really having changed. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Come to daddy. So briefly, just to look at the longer range, we are still in a... In an upward trend, we just have met a little bit of overhead resistance at 1872 and 1884. If those can be overcome, then I believe we have a reasonable target up here at about 1957 or so based upon the depth 
of this little pattern right here. So guys, let's just, I, th I think I'm, I'm content to say let's call it at that. You can see there's that resistance and then we have more resistance here and again if we get over that we're going to get into the 19 uh, into the mid 1900s I think uh, I, I don't have any problem with that whatsoever I think that's a reasonable outlook if we can take out 1872 then 1874 and again my my um, trigger here what I would say would be a close over 1900. So guys, there's your video for the S&P 500 uh, uh, closing after uh, after the close on April 21st, 2014. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. Take care.